Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Vlogmas Day 14 and today we are doing a fun video, chilled video. I feel I'm very good at doing my nails. I love doing my nails and I recently started doing my hair. Can't you see? Can't you see? I mean, it may chopper, but very good. Anyways, I just wanted to take you through what the experience is like and then give you some tips on what to look for when you're doing your polish. First of all, the polish I love that is good is Luron. I like using Luron products because they are good quality and they are cheap actually, not just affordable, they are cheap. Uh, I like, I'm using, today I'm going to do this color. Yeah, let me do it far from the light so that you see. This color is what I'm going to be using. And I love using this remover, the pink one from Luron. I don't like the blue one, it stinks. I don't like the green one also, but this one is tolerable. One of the things that you need for once, the basics of doing polish is you need a base coat. It's very important to protect your nails. See when you do your nails and then it starts, uh, as your nails grow, the tips start to yellow. That's because you're not protecting your nails with a base coat uh when you're applying polish and then the trick to make your nails last longer is using a top coat it's a clear one i have another one a matte one i don't like it with these colors i like it with like the brown color because it makes it just pop nicely otherwise i like the this is a glossy one this is a glossy top coat these are let me actually bring it the matte one is this black i'll probably insert an image because i don't really think you can read you cannot read it's, it's better from afar yeah i'll insert an image this is the this gives you a matte finish and this gives you a glossy glossy finish the white one the top coat very important to make your polish last longer the thing you should know though is when you use a top coat that has glitter it doesn't really work as good as this the polish is still going to crack really fast so if you want it to last longer use this or use the one with glitter and then still use this on top that's the trick then the first step is to obviously file my nails because i like to file them before i remove the polish because i do have polish right now you can't see it because it's it's nude it's nude why i said it's nude so you, you can see it but it's actually quite chipped so this is what we're going to be fixing now let's get started Now the nails are all nice and filed. I like to file them before I remove the polish so that I can see the exact shape they're going to take when I put the new color on. So now let's remove the polish and file them again if they're not even. Now look at this. Hmm? This is what I need to even out. See? Okay, now that I'm satisfied by what my nails look like, the size, that they are clean, that they are well shaped, now I need to apply the base coat. And another thing, even if you didn't have polish in your nails, you need to apply the base coat you need to apply uh if you need to first of all remove uh, i mean you need to clean them rinse them off with a, a remover so that if it, if your nails have oils in them and that kind of stuff it doesn't the it doesn't remain there and then make the this case you're clean that i'm competing with so that if you if your if your nails have oils in them and dirt and that kind of stuff 
it doesn't remain there and then now your polish is just going to stick visually on your nails otherwise you will you're going to apply and then realize that it's so weakly held in place that you can actually peel it off base coat is nice and on and fine and this one is already dried up so I just go ahead and start using the polish that's it the first application is done normally I like to have two layers of the actual color that I'm using the first one you just need to make sure you're getting the corners of the nails and it doesn't need to be that smooth of an application but the smoother the better and then now the second one needs to be really smooth because that's not what's gonna be underneath the, the top coat and depends on the polish that you're using the one I'm using right now it's pretty opaque so two layers are enough sometimes you might need three three of these so in total you're going to have like five layers because you have a base coat layer you have uh, the three layers of your polish and a top coat but normally i have four layers this needs to be really smooth and the layers the coat that i'm the polish that i'm getting is a lot more than i was the first time because the first time what i needed is control and coverage this one needs to just be nice glossy top can you tell the difference between the two can you tell the difference this has two layers this only has one layer let's do the second layer like at this point if you see, if you look at we look at this i messed up there's a little polish on my finger on my yeah on my finger and i can't if i start fixing this right now i'm going to mess this up so i just need to make sure it's not sticking to the other one just like pull it if you can just scrap this part off and then you can clean up later after the polish is dry that's it for the polish coat then now i need to give it about 15 minutes 10 15 minutes for it to dry and then make sure you're not you're not capping your your polish with with uh, polish like on the mouth like if you put a nail polish here because it's going to make it stick or it's going to make it not be airtight so it's going to dry up faster make sure it's clean before you close it then let's wait for this to dry and do the top coat now let's do this isn't it interesting how right after you do your nails it's like you just become incapacitated you can't do anything like if you <laughs> if you want to mess someone up go for them after they've just done their nails because they will let anything go anything slide before they mess them up see that glow see that glow burning your eyes burning your eyes that's why you need a good layer of top coat. Guys, remember that cast picture I just gave you? Yeah. So I'm going shopping later today and I need Waru and that guy shooting outside the same Waru Waru Waru. I need them so bad, but I can't go. So just naturally my nails are really long. Okay, not yeah, not long, I guess. It's the word. Just like on the skin still, they are really long and they're also wide. <laughs> so when I was in campus, I had this friend, friend X, that she she usually said she doesn't like it when I use her nail polish because my surface area is just so big and Nikia Katuna Malizanga had nail polish and I'm like, okay girl, you know yourself. But it's true. I and another friend of mine called Sally have like the biggest surface area when it comes to nails which we love but yep we go through cans of nail polish like no one's business 
also because we like our coats nice and thick so yep <laughs> it sounded funny when she first said it but it totally makes sense but yeah it's not an it's an, an issue for me because i'm just used to how much polish i use but it's so much easier to apply polish on nails that are big because the surface area is just wide and easy to work on yeah now and we're done we're done we're done there we go we are done 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 that's about it for this video we are done now now i need to wait for the next 30 to one hour for this to dry because they need to be absolutely dry such that when i touch a surface it can be like height our archer marks because sometimes it's dry it can't smudge as much but if you touch it on a surface especially if you press it it's going to get the print of that surface so that's why you need to really wait so if you want to rob me if you want to take anything from me come right now because there's nothing i can do very incapacitated thank you for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up yeah, this is how we're doing the thumbs up today because if i do it visually it's going to smudge my nails give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and see you tomorrow tomorrow we're having a game day game video very interesting stay tuned see ya